Sometimes we expect that I put in this effort, I should get the same thing in return. Mm. We should understand that there are different kind of friends. I have different kind of friends, right? Step up, step up, step up, step up. Work on yourself. It's, it's just a continuous effort. Mm. We're human. You shouldn't expect people to think a certain way. Mm. That is how this person feel. Mm. And they have grown, they feel that this particular circle that we actually had value mm. to my life and that you are not stepping up. Hey, sometimes we're looking for other people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to kind of look at what they've done wrong mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we're not being introspective as well she should exercise patience while her friend is trying to process whatever it is that she might be going through mm -hmm. engage your friend mm. understand what happened don't just assume mm. that oh something 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 happened Friend, welcome to another section of Hacks for Me and Fiona. Today is going to be an amazing one, how because we have one question that we're super ready and excited mm. to talk about is about friendship. Girl, go for it. Yes, this one is from Fumi and it's very relatable because most of us have been here. So she has a childhood friend and she noticed that after um, in the last couple of months mm -hmm. or so. They've not been relating that they like they normally do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, she's feeling that there's a disconnection. So she's saying she can't put her finger on it. What the issue is? What should she do? Should she just let the relationship go and move on, or should she keep trying and putting in the effort to make the relationship work? Wow, mm. um, friendship is another tough question because uh, <laughs> we friends uh, we have too much expectation from the other party. Yes. Oh, this is how it's supposed to be. And then sometimes the other person have already had grown that kind of friendship. Outgrown. So mm. here's the thing. Um, number one thing is, I think, is for her to engage a friend. Okay, where's the disconnect? Have I said anything, done anything that made you behave the way you're doing? Mm. You understand? You can't just assume because I realize that most of us, we just assume sometimes. Yes, there are a lot and of And you assumptions. don't really know what the other party is going through. Mm. She might be going through something that is so personal to her. And then sometimes you feel that your friend have to tell you everything. If she's going through something, why can't she tell me? Yeah. Sometimes you just, just want to keep it to yourself. So mm. number one thing for you to do is I think you should, you should please call out your friend, engage and maybe you can just go one evening, like... Um, Make it casual. A casual, very super casual, right? Mm. Have a conversation, let her tell you what is really burning and hard, mm -hmm. hard to say. Mm -hmm. And that you want to understand before you just assume that, oh, she's, she's behaving somehow. What do you think, girl? Oh, you first of all touched on one part that I don't even like to hear. You said, maybe she's outgrown her. What? Like, I wouldn't want any friend of mine to outgrow me. And I can so relate to what Fumi is saying. Mm -hmm. um, because... Their childhood friends, right? Mm -hmm. So there'll be so many emotions and memories I agree. I agree. attached attached to that. So what would I do if I was for me? Hmm. So I'm the I'm usually the kind that just will keep trying to probe. I'll keep probing. Are you okay? Are you sure? You know, if the distance is there, then of course I you know I have no choice. I'd have to wait because. A relationship that has lasted that long is worth that wait, you know. So she should exercise patience while her friend is trying to process whatever it is that she might be going through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think it's important that we touch on some of the things that usually cause disconnections right. with friendships. So for me, before we go any further, I need to clarify and make sure that you understand that we're not saying that this is your situation. Right. These are things that you should consider that could have happened mm -hmm. in the process of your relationship. Mm -hmm. There's an aspect that you talked about before, and this has to do with a lot of expectations right. from right. friendships, right? Right, right, yeah. right. So I, I love the fact that you touched base on that. So mm -hmm. um, sometimes we expect that I put in this effort, I should get the same thing in return. Mm -hmm. We should understand that there are different kinds of friends. I have different kinds of friends, right? Mm -hmm. So some... They're just a good listener. I just want to talk. I want to pour out my mind. I just want you to listen. I don't want you to even advise me on anything. Mm -hmm. And then some of my friends just want to, to advise me on what to do. 
Mm. If I feel that uh, Google Co can't help me to solve my problem, <laughs> so I just want you to advise me. And there's some friends I just want to hang out with you. Mm. You're going to make my evening because of the kind of conversation we have. Mm. So sometimes we expect that kind of thing from one person. Hmm. But the point is that can you actually give the same thing? Even if you can give, I have, like I, I I struggle with that for a very long time. Mm. I almost lost my best, my best, my best friend now, as in, oh, because of I have this expectation that, oh, I'm putting the same effort, you should mm. be able to do the same thing. Mm. But I kind of, like, think about it. Mm. This, what this girl is offering me, I can't offer the same thing. Yeah. So that aspect is about our expectation from friends. Mm. We should understand that a different kind of people, we're human. Mm. We are human. Right. Yeah. So, so far she's fit, feeling, uh, fulfill this particular purpose. I'm good with it. Mm. Most especially what we want in life is just to be happy. You want yes. people that want to be with you mm. just because they want to be with you. So that is what I meant by saying that, okay, our expectation. Our expectation oh, I, I did this for your child. Mm. Oh, on your birthday, I bought you one this. particular mug. Yes. And then look at what she got for me. Yes. Come on, let's drop that. Mm. Let's drop that. Let's let's think beyond just material things. Mm. What are the other things you bring to the table for me? Mm. Like some friend will call you for opportunity. Mm. Or maybe, oh, there's this business opportunity. They call you for it. And there's some friends will call you for party. Yes. Oh, there's this whole one. But I know that my friend, we, maybe you're down. They call you for it. And they, you have a great time. Yes. And there's some friend will call you for, oh, vacation. Let's go mm. on vacation. So that doesn't mean that, oh, you have to be one particular friend. Any friend that doesn't call you for business, they are not friends. Nope. Mm. I totally disagree with you. Oh, Sometimes wow. your friends know your strengths. They feel that this is where you can actually fit it. They don't want you to fail. Mm. Your friend doesn't call you for business opportunity. Doesn't mean that they are not your friends. They just know that you're not that good at that area. Not Sometimes it's not even good. the strength. Maybe that's not your strength, yes. right? So yes. that's not your strength. Oh, they feel that oh, there's another person that can fit in this. Mm. And then sometimes they don't even want to mess up your relationship, the friendship. Oh, if I call you for this business or more, this girl just fuck up. It will mess up our mm. friendship. I love our friendship so much that mm. I don't want this thing to interrupt, to mess it up. Mm. So there are different ways which really need to sit back mm. and really think about what value does he or she bring to the table? It's true. It's true. Oh, that's so deep. I think so I talk too much, right? No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you have this one. I'll let you have this oh one. Oh my gosh. No, oh I, think, I think you touched on a lot there. You touched on a lot. Um, for me, friendships are very, very delicate. Yeah. Very delicate. Mm -hmm. And uh, an aspect of you understanding, like she said touching base understand exactly why it is that you know you're in this kind of headspace sometimes we're looking for other people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to kind of look at what they've done wrong mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we're not being introspective as well correct you know and i'm i'm only saying this because that was my experience i have a friend i would love to i'll call her b so she'll understand who she is and B gives a lot like a lot a lot you know and I'm not like that you know if she goes into a shop she'll just think of buying something right you know and she, she'll just be like Fiona would like this you know or she might be somewhere she'll be like oh Fiona's kid would like this I'm not wired like that exactly. at all you and know? that doesn't make you not to be a good friend it, yes you know and but I had to be introspective and ask myself you know, even though I'm not good at this thing, what are the strengths that complement our relationship? Fantastic. That's you so know. good. And in the process, I, I realized, like you said, for me, most friends, what they usually do is call Fiona if you're not sure about what to do in a particular situation yeah. in life. Guess what? I have some friends that just mm. believe that, oh, well, me, she likes to go to my 12, Lagos Island, all yes. these local, local places. They call me, oh, girl. Are you going to the market this weekend? Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going. I don't feel used because I really love doing it. And I guess what, there's something that they would do for me. I go to my friend's house. They know me. Mm. I'm coming in to eat. <laughs> like, I what do you have in your kitchen? Doc, by one of them. I'm, yes. I'm calling you out, girl. <laughs> so, I would just go to our kitchen. What do you have for me? Yes. When I'm having a party, mm. this girl will never, ever, ever. Sometimes she don't even sit with my guest or something. She will mm. be in the kitchen. 
oh. cooking, sorting out, ensure that everybody is doing well. Wow. But if it was our own party turn back, I'm not going to do that. I'm with the guests. I'm yes. having fun. Come and serve me. Yes. And then, does that make me to be a no. bad friend or does mm. it make her to be a bad do you person? Yeah. Do, do, she doesn't feel used. I don't mm -hmm. feel used because mm. I kind of compliment. But yes. guess what? I'm but you to understand the that. Do you understand? I'm going to the market. Mm. Girl, I'm buying this. Oh, this one is so cheap. Why are you buying an expensive? We mm. know that. She know that with me. We. You get to a stage, she will tell me that. When, she, when okay, uh, when I tell her that, oh, this thing is 5,000 Naira, mm. she doesn't tell, she will never tell me that, mommy, please go and price it again. She know that I get. By the time it's 5,000, you've literally Do done you your guess? best. Do you get, <laughs> and I have some friend that tell me 5,000, go and price it, it should yes. be 2,000. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So we should know the friendship, we complement mm. each other. It's just like relationship, mm. a guy, mm. a lady, mm. you know. So we should it's just, the same thing, actually, it, it isn't it? It is the it's same thing. Another thing that we really don't understand mm. is that sometimes your friend, they've had grown you. Ha. They've stepped up. You should step up. <laughs> That's why some childhood friend will be like, oh, she's my childhood friend. How come she's not this? Mm. People step up. Yes. You grew up in poverty environment. Some people, their mentality, their exposure, they feel that they don't want to remain in that mentality. They're very hungry. Some people don't need somebody to ignite their experience, their past experience. Mm. They feel that being with you, some memory they don't even want to think about. Mm. It is. It's, we're, we're human. You shouldn't expect people to think certain way. Mm. That is how this person feels. Mm. And they've had grown, they feel that this particular circle that we actually had value mm. to my life and that you are not stepping up. Hey. Mm. If it's what it is, it's actually not it good. Is. Right? Well, it is. It is what good. it is. It is not good. But at the <laughs> same time, it is what it is. Just mm. ensure that that's what we kept on saying. It. Step up, step up, step up, step up. Work again. on yourself. It's just a continuous effort. Mm. Right. So there's so much, so much to talk about 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 friendship and all that so my own take is that mm. engage your friend mm. understand what happened don't just assume mm. that oh, oh something 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 happened mm. and then you should understand that different kind of friends uh some people mm. love to like i mentioned mm. they just need to listen to you just need somebody that will listen to you and mm. then sometimes they've had grown you mm. you know so you just have to understand what really happened and exactly then, you know Exactly. There's a, there's a part of this, you know, this topic that I'd love for us to touch on. Mm -hmm. And that's understanding as well that in female relationships, friendships, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of um, comparison sometimes. Yeah. Um, judgments, mm -hmm. a lot of judgments, these betrayals. Mm -hmm. and, and I find that when you are walking towards a journey of mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. who you are, you know, we say that, we sing that, we always say that on the mm -hmm. show. When you're working towards a journey of getting to know who you are, who's for me, what does she stand for? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, when you start identifying your, your own self, not based on what the external environment mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. telling you, right? Right, correct. But based on, okay, I've, I've, you know, times have been tough, but I've come through it. What next? You know, it, it, it will help you to stop also, um, over analyzing right. other relationships because the idea is we're supposed to be running forward, mm -hmm. trying to look for ourselves mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. greater people mm -hmm. in every facet of our lives, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure if your childhood friends, you've overcome a lot of things. Right. Maybe you've overcome uh, betrayal. Maybe uh, mm -hmm. you've overcome gossip. Maybe she talked about you. That happens a lot, you know. Uh, my friend said this about me behind my back, all that kind of stuff. So I would say in this season, if you don't know what's causing the betrayal, it might be that your friend maybe is trying to um, uh, put boundaries. Right. That you don't know, unknown to you. you girl, girl, you, uh, before yes. you even go further, you mm -hmm. mentioned something about betrayal. You mentioned something about jealousy. Mm -hmm. Jealousy. And then you also mentioned mm, something. There's another thing that you judgmental. mentioned. Judgmental. You have been judgmental. If I, if I come to tell you about my situation and you kept on that, oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Yeah. I know that you're going to be, guess what? I I, won't you won't come to you. me. If, if it kept on coming back and back, back and forth, mm. like back to back to say, mm. girl, I won't come to you. Mm. There's something that we also need to understand. Mm. We shouldn't, um, you have to be in that person's shoe for you to tell them that what they're doing is wrong. Mm. 
Hmm. You have to understand where they are coming from. Hmm. You can't just keep on judging people based on yes. their situation or whatever they are going through. Hmm. And they also mentioned about jealousy and all that. Hmm. Everybody wants to be like the other person. Hmm. We need we just to stop that. To like, we just need to stop that. Let's take a chill pill, mm. girl. Mm. We need to, you just want to be like the other person. You want to wear the same clothes they're wearing. You want to do this. You want to do mm. that. And that's like... lack of self-awareness. Exactly. Mm. So it, it, it's a whole lot. Mm. Before we feel that this other person is just, um, is just trying to avoid talking mm. to you, doing things with you, you just need to set yourself. You need to set yourself. Mm. Think about it. What have you done wrong? Mm. Are you trying to be judgmental? Have you said something that actually they don't really want to hear? And then mm. some people just, you know, we can't change people. They have to come to a time that, okay, mm. I don't really like this life I'm going through. Mm. I'm ready to change. Whatever you're telling them, then they, it will sink in, right? Yes. I love that. I love that. But for me, you know what? Life is too short. Um, to worry too much about what uh, your friend is, you know, what's happening between your relationship. So I would say if you've done your best and mm -hmm. you've reached out and you've asked her and you haven't gotten the response that you should, then, you know, focus on asking yourself, what could I have done wrong? Mm -hmm. And if you feel like your mind is clear and you feel that, you know what, you've, you've done well, then, you know, go ahead and just wait. Some people just need time. When she's ready, she will come to you. Yeah. And if they don't want to come to you, life goes on. Life goes on. Like you meet another people that really, that you like. And then just like relationship, your your girlfriend, your boyfriend broke her mm. heart. And then you, you want to die there. Oh, mm. more. <laughs> Some <laughs> another relationships guy will are come, seasonal. Another girl will come. So mm. move on. You don't have to hold on to things for too long mm. so i hope we are able to yeah answer this and then but be optimistic and, and hope for the best just expect that you know what she'll soon be back and oh, she'll explain oh, in due time yes i know i know mm. how i feel like girl you you'll be fine you'll be fine <laughs> you'll be fine girl we did it all right so i hope that was cool so please Keep your questions coming in and you know we're just loving this whole process of growing with you and um listening to what you have to say uh it has really pushed us to the limit of our research yeah yes, girl, of girl, our growth girl, process I'm, I'm super excited about yes. it I'm, I'm so so happy mm. how far we we've come yeah. yeah so please make sure those questions come in the details are on your screen right now until next time, this is Ask Fumi and Fiona, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.